morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. As we have completed user-defined functions, parameterized and non-parameterized. Program is always there from user-defined function in section B of your paper. But in section A also, the questions can come from this topic. One question which is almost every year it is there that is to write the prototype of the given functions. Today we will be doing that only. So this question is of two marks in your paper. Very easy, very simple. Just pay little attention and I am sure you will be able to do it. So let's start. Question is give the prototype of the following. The question is always asked like this and it is written in the sentence form. You have to write the prototype. Now what is prototype? Earlier in the first video of user defined functions I told you the first line of the function definition is known as function prototype or function header. So here we have to do that. And if it will be clear to you, you will also find it very easy to write the Java programs for user defined functions. So the first question is that we have to write the prototype for a function find. This is the function name which receives a sentence sent and a word wd and returns 1 or 0. Children, please note that if any variable name is given in the question, please don't take any other variable name of your choice. You have to use that only. If it is not mentioned, then you can use of your choice. So here it is receiving. The function name is this. So I will write like this. Function name I have written. It receives a sentence sent. Sentence is always a string type. So, the values which it is receiving is string and the name is given sent. So, we will be writing that and a word wt. So, it is taking two arguments, one sent and one wd which is a, again a word. Word is also of string type. So, here two arguments it is receiving. Now since both of them are of the same type then also with each variable name the data type must be written. You cannot write string sent comma wd. It has to be written with the data type even if both the variables are of the same data type. Right? So it is receiving two and returning one or zero. So one and 0 these two values are int type so here the return type is int so this is the function prototype please don't put any semicolon here no semicolon is used in function prototype or the function header so it is sending it is returning one int value function name and the list of arguments list of parameters along with their data type so it is parameterized user defined function. We have written the uh, prototype for that. Okay, let's see the next question. A function check. This is the function name. Please read the sentence very carefully. Which receives a character ch. Ch is the character and an integer num. So again it is parameterized which is taking one character value and one integer value and returns true or false. So what it is returning true or false, true or false that means it is returning a boolean value. So we start with writing the function name is check. It is receiving two arguments. One is character. So the data type for character is char. The variable name is given ch and an integer for integer data type is int. Num name is already given. And it is returning true or false. So the return value is boolean. So like this you will be writing. Already I have 
told you in the first video that first it is return type function name and within bracket you have the list of arguments or the parameters with their data type. Please don't put any semicolon over here. We'll be doing more questions and I hope it will be clear to you. The next is we have to write the prototype for a function total which receives a sentence and returns its length. Now please check that here no variable name is specified, no data type is specified. So we have to read it twice to understand how many arguments are there, what will be the return type, what will be the argument type. So a function name is here total. So we start with that total is the function name which receives a sentence. Sentence means a group of words. So the data type of that will be string. So it is receiving a sentence. So I can write any variable name if it is not mentioned in the question. So sentence is always string type, string st. And it returns its length. Length of the sentence is always int type. So here it is int. So this is how we write the prototype. Children please practice few prototypes, few I will uh, given the PDF, the description box contains the PDF link. You can check and practice those, okay? Uh, the next is a function display. Function name is display here, which receives an integer n. So, we start writing, it receives, function name is display, it receives an integer, that is int value, variable name is already given n. So we can't change that and does not return any value to its caller module. So it will not return any value that means we have to give void keyword here. Void keyword before the function name indicates that this will not return any value to its caller function. So this is how we convert the statement into its prototype. Please don't put semicolon here. Again and again I am telling you because children they make mistake. Every time they put a semicolon after writing the prototype even though if it is completely correct and you put a semicolon you may lose marks. Okay. The next is to write the prototype for the function stud. This is the function name which receives 1 boolean b and 1 integer n. So let's write function name is stud. Here I want to tell you that if it is in lower case, write in lower case. If it is in upper case, write in capital. Upper case only. Don't change the case also yourself. Don't change anything if any value, any variable name is given in the question. So it is receiving two arguments, one is boolean b, boolean and b is also mentioned so we have to take that and one integer n, for integer the data type is int and returns an integer value. So the return value is also int type, so it is int function name and the list of arguments along with their data types. The next is a function apple. So apple is the function name which does not receive any value. That means here opening and closing brackets that's it. Nothing, no void also. Sometimes children they write void here that it is not receiving any value so it is void. No. If it is not returning then only it is void. If it is not receiving only here empty brackets will be there and returns an integer. The return value data type is int. So int apple opening bracket closing bracket that's it. The next is to write the prototype for the function empty. The function name is empty. You can start writing like this only whatever you are reading please write down that and you know in which order first always the return type is there then function name and then within bracket the list of arguments which does not receive any argument that means 
a blank over here. Only opening and closing bracket. And returns are boolean value. So in return always the data type is given. Only the data type, no variable name is given with the return type. Okay. So boolean, because it is returning a boolean value, function name is empty and it is not receiving any value. So opening and closing bracket again, please don't put any semicolon. A function leaf. Leaf is the function name which neither receives any argument. That means only brackets over here without any arguments nor it returns any value. That means it is not returning any value. For that we write void here. So void before a function name indicates that this will not return any value. Empty bracket shows that it is not receiving any argument. So where empty brackets are there, that means it is non-parameterized user-defined function. Where it is void, that means it is without return type. Where some data type is there, that means it is returning a value. If the arguments are there, that means it is receiving the values. Okay. So I hope now writing prototype is very easy task for you. You will not find any difficulty in doing this. And... I am also very much sure that each of my student who is watching this video will be able to write the correct prototype and you will get two on two in this question. If you have any doubt related to this, please do comment and I will solve your doubt over there. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. Best wishes to each one of you. Keep practicing, keep working hard. God bless you.